Picture Gems, telling the story of the scriptures with pictures. Let's take a look at Mosiah 29 through Alma chapter 4. The righteous king Mosiah and Alma, high priest over the church, had sons that sought to destroy the church of God. Divine intervention caused them to turn their lives around. They traveled around the land of Zarahemla, zealously striving to repair all the injuries which they had done to the church. After preaching the word of God to the Nephites, the four sons of King Mosiah desired to lead a mission to their mortal enemies, the Lamanites. We'll find out what happened to them in Alma chapters 17 through 27. But for now, with no sons willing to accept the kingdom, King Mosiah instituted a new governing system of judges. And Alma's repentant son, Alma the Younger, was chosen as the first chief judge as well as the high priest over the church of God. Alma the Younger served for just over eight years as chief judge, but his reign was incredibly eventful. In the first year, a man called Nehor introduced priestcrafts, taught false doctrine, and killed the righteous Gideon. He was executed for his crimes, but his evil doctrines remained. In the fifth year, Amlicai, a follower of Nehor and a cunning man, led a massive movement to install himself as chief judge. When that failed, his followers made him their king, and he rallied his armies to attack the other Nephites. The battle commenced at the hill Amnihu across the river from Zarahemla. Amlicai lost more than 12,000 men and fled away to the south. Alma and his forces made camp in the valley of Gideon, but Alma sent four mighty captains as spies to pursue the Amlicites. The next morning, the spies returned with a horrific report. A numerous Lamanite army had been spotted heading toward Zarahemla, and the Amlicites had joined them. Alma the Younger realized that unless he acted quickly, their capital city Zarahemla would be destroyed. Alma the Younger caused his army to attempt to cross the river, hoping to be on the other side ahead of the invading army. Instead, the massive army of Lamanites and Amlicites appeared on the other side, ready to destroy them. Strengthened by the hand of the Lord, the armies of the Nephites miraculously pushed their enemies back and were victorious against them. Alma the Younger himself slew Amlici in battle, and the Lamanite king fled from before him. The remaining enemy forces were scattered and fled west and north into the wilderness of Hermounts, which was infested with wild and ravenous beasts. Those that died in that wilderness were devoured, and their bones had been found and heaped up on the earth. Not many days later, another Lamanite army invaded, but Alma sent up a numerous army against them and drove them back out of their lands. Then for a time, there was peace. For the next few years, the Nephites repented of their wickedness, and there was great growth in the church of God. But by the eighth year of the reign of the judges, pride and contentions entered the church. And so, in the start of the ninth year of the reign of the judges, Alma the Younger stepped down from his role as chief judge to spend all his time as high priest of the church to preach repentance to the people. Now that you know the story of the scripture block, study the chapters in your scriptures and use the church materials to help you discover principles and doctrinal gems that you can apply to your life to bring you closer to the Savior, Jesus Christ.